second series leads up to the dude. And then if I could ask. So then I'm gonna go ahead and find a spot for him. And that spot is gonna be the spot I pick for him so that we can saddle. And what you're gonna notice, I'm gonna put him in that spot and I'm gonna ask him to stay there. So I'm gonna make sure all his feet are set so it's easy for him to stay standing. I'm gonna kinda of keep my eye on him here while I get him ready. And check him out. Kinda of be a little sloppy with the blanket. Make sure his main hair isn't under the, the pad. And then I'm gonna keep his face off me because I don't want him bumping into me or rubbing into me because I'm just inviting him to start moving around. Keep his head focused on me. And I'm gonna be real particular about where he's at. And before I get my saddle to put on him, I'm gonna make sure my saddle's situated so I don't have to dink around with it. And then I'm gonna set myself up. doesn't bind him at his withers. And make sure the pad's on there, about center line. Then I'm going to pop this stirrup up, keep his head off me, reach under here, keep his head off me. Tell him it's not personal. Go ahead and saddle him. Now, if any time during this process, he starts to walk off, he's going to realize right where he's at right now is probably the best place. And there's a lot of trouble out there if he moves around. So I keep my attention on what's going on there with his hind legs. I don't cinch it up real tight just the first cinching so I don't want to cause him to move because I try to over cinch him too early before he's kind of sensitized to the cinch. start thinking he can go for the grass. And this up. We're ready, cowboy. Let's go to the round pen and play around. <laughs> 